hello YouTube. Okay, I have finished a seven segment display that I saw on a video made by the Xbox Nut and thought I'd give it a go. So I've finished it up, I'll show you all the stuff in it later and hopefully it will work this time because meanwhile, like lately it hasn't been working and I just fell down somehow. Just get back up to the switch. Okay, so it's at zero, and that's what I've set it like before I start going off. And I'll just give it a little flick. Hopefully, it'll change to one. Oh no, nine. That's right, it counts down nine to zero. Okay, so nine, eight, and seven, hopefully. Yeah, it's a little slow. It's because I've got huge lines of redstone. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. One near flicked it too fast. Then it goes back to zero. Yay, and then it goes off. Okay, so I'll show you all around. This is my thing, like I think it's eleven by seventeen or some shit like that. Uh each segment is three torches long. Or up, yeah. And I've just built this little cover so you can see it clearly during daytime as well. Uh, I've got my little input bus. Uh, there's all the wiring at the back. Yeah, I copied that from the Xbox Nut. I did this all by myself because I already knew how. It's the decimal decoder. And it's just a bunch of different sequences, like this one I'm standing on is 0, and the next one's 1, 2, 3, 4, and yeah, like that. Uh, this is the, another input boss, but much bigger one, it goes all the way. This is the counter, I copied this off of the Xbox Nut as well. Pretty much it's a boat one, like, you stick your boat in there. Then you flick a switch, door opens, boat goes through, hitting on the next pressure pad, and that makes another number appear. Okay, so right now I've got it as manual setup. I'm going to go back to the switch and set it up so it does it automatically. Okay, I will be back in a second. Okay. I have finished the auto sort of thing right now. It's just an odd number of inverters just alongside each other and that's connected to where I had my switch before. And my switch is now the input for my little clock thing. So I'm gonna head over and put a new boat in there. Start this off. Alright, here I am at the starting spot. Stick my little boat in there. And he'll head on down to that. And as you can see it's he's gone on to that little pressure plaid pad. Yeah I've got a little bit of a lisp. Not really. Yeah. Anyway, so that's activated that and that goes to a first zero, which means it's ready to start. When I flick the switch this will go off and on making the doors open and close letting that go through segment or bit at a time okay so I've got eight, one of these for each number I should probably not jump because it's going to be really pixely that over there is my old one that I had 
and that had to have a manual for each separate like number. Okay, time to flick the switch. Let's see if this works. So hopefully it'll go to nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and zero. Yay! I made it work. Okay, I can turn that clock off now. Alright, so that is my seven segment display with countdown thing. Uh, the timer I made just then, uh, you can learn how to make the uh, the counter, not the timer, the counter, the display, and the decimal decoder. You can learn how to make all of that from the Xbox nut. Just search him up on YouTube and look at his Minecraft videos. He's got a seven part little series on how to make this. The desk, the clock that I made is fairly simple. You can just pause and look at that just now. Yeah. Uh, okay. Goodbye, YouTube.